Hey, it's Jeff from Home Renovision. Today we're here to talk about how to turn a really nasty backyard like mine. It just used to be a swamp, basically. And we're going to restore this property back to glory. We're building it all up. We're going to put in a new sod layer and a berm and a cedar hedge. So we're going to go over all the steps today about how you can DIY your own lawn. Just a word of warning, this involves renting some heavy equipment. So if you're not interested in playing with really expensive toys, this video is not for you. The first step in, in fixing your lawn is understanding your soil type. Now, in the back corner over here, we had originally put in a volleyball pit for the kids, and all we did was just order a couple of dump trucks of sand and have it drop it off, and that was it. That was a problem because there was too much sand in one spot. So what we did is we raked it all out, and then we had to put in a next layer. Now, the next, next layer, we actually just bought some clean fill. Now, that's a fancy term in the aggregate business for dirt that's been removed from somewhere so they can put in a building foundation. Usually it's dirt mixed with clay, mixed with a little bit of brick and stone, some tree roots, and they have a sifting process. And you can get different grades of clean fill. Some is cleaner than others. <laughs> you never really know what you're gonna get. The point is, it's dirt cheap. That's why they call it dirt cheap. That expression came from the fact that clean fill is all basically free. All you gotta do is pay for the trucking in most cases, and that's not expensive. So you can get a whole dump truck full of dirt for like 100, 150 bucks, and it's really cost effective. Now, if you're gonna do that, you gotta have the ability to rake it out. And by that, I mean, we have a skid steer. And basically what we're showing is, we're throwing the dirt on, and then we're driving over top of the dirt, dropping the bucket and backing up and leveling out the ground. It's a really simple process that actually takes a little bit of skill. So a little bit of practice, and you can do this at home. It's not that difficult. And after you get that all raked out, it's just a matter of eyeballing your property. Take a step back, have a look. Our property had a really bad bowl, so we actually had to bring in four truck loads of dirt, right? Yeah, we brought in four truck loads of dirt so that we could get this bowl all fixed up. And now it's all been raked out. So what we're gonna show you is this awesome homemade rig. After you're done raking, now my neighbor actually put this together. This guy's a genius. It's just a chain link fence, some four by four posts, some cinder blocks tied together to keep the weight down. And he just drives around the yard. And what it does is any big rock or tree root that's sticking out of that clean fill gets ripped out of the dirt and then he can collect it afterwards. And we're left with a surface that looks like this. So this kind of raking process does two things. A, it picks up all of the big chunks and brings them to the surface, but it also acts like a rake and levels out the surface. That's just awesome fun. Now, if you don't have a toy like that, you can use a garden rake, but on a big area like this, it's nice to have big toys. The next step is to grab your skid steer, have a load of topsoil delivered. It's a different material. Our price around here, because we have a sod farmer on the corner, wasn't that bad. Delivered, it was about $550 for a whole dump truck, which is a good price, because this is sifted and cleaned. There's not gonna be any dirt or weed seed in there, generally speaking. So it is a really nice top dress, and that's how you prepare for seeding your lawn. Now we got our pile over here. We're gonna demonstrate the process for dropping it and, and laying that out. And then after we're done that, we'll talk about how to seed your yard. Can't wait to show you the finished product. This is gonna be awesome. Just to give you an idea, we're looking at about a half an acre space here, and we were able to organize all of our loads over two days. So the skid steer rental was about 400 bucks. The dirt that's involved here all together for this whole project is gonna run me about 1,500 to 2,000. So realize that making a lawn brand new and gorgeous might cost a couple thousand bucks, but when I go to sell this house and the new buyers are gonna be able to look across the yard and see this gorgeous half acre of perfect lawn, it's gonna be worth it. I'm making money. You can see that my neighbor here, he's actually really proficient at shaking the bucket and distributing the dirt. It reduces the amount of work when he's trying to back, back it up. That's awesome. So he shakes it out, he'll drive over it, drop down the bucket, level it off. And when he's all finished doing the whole area, he'll go back on that other machine with the rake and he'll drive all over the topsoil just to confirm that we don't have any rocks and make it all nice and smooth. You can see the, the idea, the approach here, is to try to make sure that he's not driving over the topsoil. 
He's trying to drop it and flatten it out as he goes to reduce the amount of compaction because your topsoil should not be compacted or pressed down too tight. It's too hard for the grass to get root. All right, so here we are continuing on with our backyard program. Now we had two full dump trucks of earth delivered for a half acre lot. And Alex used the skid steer and laid it out and then raked it out. Now he's hooking up his final little tool. He, he's a smart kid, he made this at home for himself. It's just a four x four bolted together with a chain on a chain link fence system. He's gonna ride a lawn tractor, zip it around and it'll pull. It'll catch all the chunks and rocks or whatever else might be, still be in that dirt. The reason he's using a lawn tractor is because apparently it has a less, smaller PSI, which is like pounds per square inch, than a human foot. So he can actually drive that around without compacting the dirt, which makes it ideal soil conditions for adding our seed and getting a good result. So we're gonna see how heavy this tractor is. I'm gonna have him drive over my foot. And you know me, I don't wear safety shoes. So this would be a great way of knowing. I'm gonna put my life in your hands here, Alex. All right? This ought to be interesting. I'm not, I don't know if I want to eat. Oh, wow! That wasn't bad at all. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that doesn't hurt as much as when one of my kids stands on me, that's for sure. All right, very cool. The point of that is that he's using a special tractor to do this so he doesn't compact the dirt. So it's perfect conditions for growing sod. That has less PSI than a human foot. So, so if, it doesn't break if he drives foot. over your foot, it's actually, there's, there's less pounds per square inch than if you stand on me. This is kind of like going fishing, you know? We gotta pull all this stuff out of the net and see what we found. So we got, wow. We got sticks and grass. Man, oh man, that really gets caught in there, yeah? Some landscape cloth. Wow. That's the way to rake. <laughs> all right, so now all we gotta do is get our seed out here. <sighs> Because of the time of year and the amount of heat that we have, we're actually gonna wait. We got a couple options. We can have somebody come out here and, and they can spray the lawn down. They got special techniques and technologies for that. But you know me, I'm too cheap for that. I'm gonna wait till later on in the summer when we have some cooler nights so that we can seed then and water occasionally and let the weather generally bring in some rain and take care of my yard. If I get a yard out here by the end of September, I am more than happy. So I'll just be patient. So it's seeding day. We're so excited. <laughs> we got the hedges in and we got our drip line. And so Alex is going to go around with our grass now. He's got a commercial blend here. So it's three different kinds of grass. The idea is um, we have a mix of sun and shade here in the lawn. So whatever particular variety of grass proliferates in each area, at least we're going to get consistent coverage, which is nice. And he's got a cool little machine on it. It's got a little edge guard so he can go right up against the cedar hedge and not spray grass seed all over the place, which is cool. Here he goes. This is so exciting. This is next to watching paint dry. <laughs> so he's just gonna edge the property using that special tool. And then he'll fill it all in. He's gonna walk in two different directions. Um, there's not a whole lot to say. He's also got fertilizer. This is a, a perfect for um, fall and new start. You know, good for us. We've got a company around the corner from where I live called Peterson Sod Farm, and these guys supplied all these products. We bought them, of course, but at least we've got a professional sod outfit down the street. No better place to get your materials and your advice. Okay, so the next step for us is to wait. <laughs> we actually intentionally waited. Um, we had their lawn prepped quite a few weeks ago and then Alex had to drive around and he pulled out all of the weeds because we're waiting until the right time of year to put the seed down and so the weeds grew a little bit because we are not going to be pulling out 150 feet of hose and moving a sprinkler around running off my pump off the well to try to water over half an acre so we're just going to let nature do its thing it's our fall rainy season it's beautiful today but we should get rain two to three times a week pretty consistently over the next six weeks <laughs> Everybody's got to have a neighbor like this guy. Now he's just taking the roller and he's going to drive it around and he's just making good positive seed contact with the soil. All right. When you spread it, it just lays on top. This kind of makes sure that it's kind of half embedded in the dirt and that's just going to really help once it gets wet to germinate properly. Wow, that's a great tool. Now, if you don't have something like this, or you're doing a smaller space, you can actually rent a little one man pull along or push along unit. You just fill it up halfway with water and you're good to go. Well, 
we'll have a look at how this grass looks in just a second. Hey, thanks for joining us in the video today. And remember, if you're interested about learning about all the different renovations they're doing at this farmhouse, we've got a whole project series going on our other channel, Reality Renovation. I'll let you click up here and check it out. Subscribe to that channel. You get the rest of the episodes coming soon.